The Mighty Modifieds are now ready to rumble. takes the green at Delaware International Speedway. We are underway, and Billy Pouch Jr. will be your leader. Boy, Rick Laubach wondering what just happened. Pouch Jr. around the top, shilling around the bottom, out of the corner, lap number one of the Diamond State 50, going to the kids' kid, Billy Pouch Jr., shilling, buck. Now a battle for fourth, go down, gets inside Laubach. He'll take fourth. Laubach back to fifth in the opening lap. Meanwhile, though, battle on your screen. The Fisherman to the inside of the Thrilling. Good battle here for the third spot. Jeff, we should call him the Angler. They'll battle for third here off of the corner still. Yeah, Angler Mareska into the turn, battling with Schilling. Well, we got one upside down. Turn one. Car is up and over in turn one. That is Ryan Godown. I did not catch the beginning of what transpired there. All I saw was a car in the air in turn number one. And when it stopped, I saw it was the 26 of Ryan Godown. Danny Buck, now the guy alongside Billy Pouch Jr. They'll fire between the Sunoco restart zone. We'll go back to racing. Charging back to green in the turn. Mareska on the outside, battling with Schilling and Shepard. Down the back straightaway, Pouch maintains the lead over Danny Buck. Gohler now battling with Lobot. Schilling right behind, and here comes Ryan Watt. Buck made a mistake that time all before. Meanwhile, talk about creeping into the picture. Matt Stangle is driven from 23rd to 9th. Stangle, oh, and Shepard's around over here off the two. Matt Shepard goes around off of turn number two, and a left front flat tire. Schilling next in line. Here they come with Jimmy Horton. Junior, he likes the outside lanes. We go back to green out of the turn. Here comes Stangle. Stangle continues his move through the field. He goes to the outside around Ryan Watt. Now on the outside of Mike Gouler. He has now moved to fourth. Stangle is an absolute rocket ship right now. Speaking of rockets, Kid Rocket will drive to the inside of Danny Buck trying to grab the second spot away. Gouler trying to get back by Stangle for fourth. All of a sudden, we got great racing going on here. Second and fourth, a good battle. Yeah, two separate two-car battles. Buck now getting challenged from Yankowski, and Stangle still battling on the outside of Gouler. Behind them, Schilling battling hard off the turn with Jimmy Horton, and here comes Matt Shepard. Shepard getting by Horton. He'll go to the inside of Schilling. Yeah, Shepard now into the top five amazingly. Here's Jankowski still battling it out with Danny Buck down the front straightaway. Powell Jr. opens up a small but comfortable lead, and Jankowski pulls the move. He'll slide by Buck and grab second. Danny comes right back at him down the backstretch. Jankowski went with a slide job over in one and two, able to pinch off the six going into turn number three, and Kid Rockets now 14th to second. Pulls away out of the corner. Stangle gets wide, and Shepard will pick up fourth. Boy, that 9S just keeps on rolling. Throw whatever curveballs you want at him. It doesn't matter. He can hit them. Jankowski is staying close to Pouch. We've got two laps to go. This can't happen again, can it? Jankowski gets a good run through the middle. Two, Shepard, though, or excuse me, Pouch Jr. drives off the corner, pulls him by about six car lengths. Yankowski, though, is better here in three and four. Coming to the white flag, does Kid Rocket have anything in the tank? The Bears Performance Warehouse, white flag, one lap to go. The 2023 edition of the Diamond State 50 at Delaware International Speedway. Pouch Jr. has got the lead. Look out, we got trouble on the front straightaway. We're going to have to go yellow. Jimmy Horton right here in the front stretch. We will not be able to finish this one. Horton's got a broken front end. We're inside of five laps to go. Pouch Jr. will fire off the bottom. We're back underway. One lap dash into turn number one. They go. Pouch Jr. to the top. Yankowski will try to roll the middle, trying to force him into a mistake. Pouch Jr. hasn't made one all night. Down the back straightaway, the final lap in the 2023 Diamond State 50 at Delaware International Speedway. A $5,000 Delaware win for Billy Pouch Jr. Followed by Yankowski, Danny Buck will be next to cross. 